Hello, and welcome to our third installment of the Prophecy 2022 webinar series titled Prophecy Smart Factory Cloud OEE. In today's session, you'll learn how this new cloud hosted offering can help you measure, control, and improve your efficiency. My name is Justin Palmer, and I'll be your moderator for today. And joining me is Joe Gersel, the Director of Product Management for our MES products. So before we begin, I want to cover a few housekeeping items. Firstly, enter your questions throughout the webinar by clicking the Q&A icon at the bottom right of your screen. Your video window can be resized using the maximize icon in the top right or by manually dragging the screen to your desired size. And lastly, if you do have any issues with the tool, simply refresh your browser. This unified launch marks our second year of implementing a standard release cadence across the portfolio product, the, po the Prophecy portfolio of products. There are three things I'd like to draw your attention to on this slide. Firstly, we, we have a commitment to continue to drive investment and innovation into our portfolio. Secondly, we've changed the on-premise product versioning from using individual product release numbers to a consistent 2022 version. If you look at the bottom of the slide in gray, you'll see some examples. We did this to help our customers understand what products were validated from an interoperability perspective, as well as making it easier to follow our release timelines. And then lastly, we've integrated a low-code, no-code data engine across our portfolio, which is Prophecy Operations Hub. We started this last year and will continue to do so with these unified releases moving forward. So with that, I'll hand over to you, Joe. Okay, thanks, Justin. Appreciate that intro. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Thanks for coming. I want to. I'm really excited to talk to you about this. This is uh, what we're calling Prophecy Smart Factory. Now, just before I get going, I want to. I want you to understand this is not necessarily a new product, but it's actually a combination of several products that we're putting out together to, and we're calling it Smart Factory because there's more to it than just plant applications. So first of all, I, I think most of you know what this does, right? You know what an MES is, you know what it does. It, uh, it's all about monitoring and, and managing and help you synchronize the execution of, of your products across your uh, plant. You're taking that physical process, marrying it with the people and transforming uh, your, your raw materials into finished goods. So it's all about really being more efficient, being more productive, driving more throughput, reducing waste, uh, et cetera. So, Let's talk real quick about how we're going to do that. So we know, uh, for those of you that have, that know about plant applications, it is a on-premise offering that allows you to, it's an on-premise uh, MES offering, I should say, and it allows you to do uh, many, many things. Here are the, the modules that we've laid out for plant applications. There's a lot been done to the product recently. Uh, if you haven't seen it for a while, uh, there's a lot of new web uh, user experiences. And the one that we're going to focus on today is efficiency management. We are going to offer the other components as well, but let's focus on efficiency management and talk about what that's going to do for you uh, hosted in the cloud. So it's all about tracking downtime, waste, and if you and, and OE, of course, is overall equipment effectiveness. It's a it's an industry standard. It's been there for a long time. Uh, the idea is to really get to your root causes and understand why you're having downtime, why you're having waste, and what you can do to improve it. So there's a lot of uh, standard reports and, and dashboards that are included in the product. So let's talk about Smart Factory for DG Digital. Again, Smart Factory is really a conglomeration of products that we put together. Um, you'll see that uh, the modules here, you know, we don't list the product names here, but you can pick them out pretty easily, right? Efficiency, quality, production, um, um, batch, uh, production scheduling. These are all things that we do, we've done for a long time. And, and if you, have not experienced uh, our tools, I encourage you to, to take a closer look. Uh, if you have, uh, these are the same products that you know and trust and understand will do the job and, and run your business for you. What we've done is we've taken a couple of them and we've, we've launched them on the cloud. So efficiency, quality, production management, and production management for both serialized and non-serialized are both launched in the cloud. In addition to that, we offer um, the uh, hybrid cloud industrial data management, which of course is Historian, and some industrial analytics that come with it. So uh, these products are all uh, offered again under this umbrella of called Smart Factory. So what is what is uh, 
<clears throat> what is Manufacturing Data Cloud? This is another component. This is the analytics component that we talked about in the previous slide to really drive all that data from your plants and from your uh, manufacturing activity up into a standard format that is perfect for, for business intelligence and analytics. This is where you can get your entire enterprise in one place in a way that's very easy to understand. If you know anything about plant apps today, it's designed to be fast, uh, to allow you to get data in fast and, and update quick, quickly. It's not so um, designed so well for reporting. It just wasn't designed necessarily for that. It's obviously doable and people do it. This, however, MDC makes it much easier to report on your data and it gives you visibility across your entire enterprise. Really exciting tool. So the, 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 whole, about, the whole point of, of the tool though is really to give you, to reduce time uh, for your uh, implementation and specifically around, around reporting and, and adding that top layer value. Uh, we, we do this through REST API layer as well as an OData layer. If you're not familiar with that, it's a standard for capturing, for uh, retrieving and reporting on data. Very powerful tool. Uh, MDC allows you to, to um, put, this, put this all in, in a standard format and it reduces your on-premise database footprint. So it actually allows you to archive some of that data off of your system. And you know, there's a lot of examples to this. Um, it's all about benchmarking, dashboarding, et cetera. Uh, and that's really where MES, uh, MDC steps in. Don't wanna, I'm gonna leave MDC there. Now we're gonna move on to the, to the meat of what we're gonna talk about. And that specifically is uh, Smart Factory and our Cloud ME, uh, OE offering. So what is this thing that we're talking about, Smart Factory? Well, if you look in the center of the, the diagram here, you'll see that we have uh, a Cloud MES and we have prophecy, prophecy Historian. Now, you might say, what is this Cloud MES thing? Is this a brand new thing? Uh, you know, how do we know it's, it's uh, useful? How do we know it's good? Well, folks, this is plant applications. So we have taken plant applications. We've been working really hard to make it cloud enabled over the last three years, and we've, we've done that. So now we have a fantastic web interface uh, to use plant applications and we've decided let's put this on the cloud and make it more accessible to maybe plants that don't have the ability to have an on-premise offering for MES. Maybe they don't have the IT staff. Maybe they don't want to spend the money on the hardware. Maybe they want to spend uh, operational expenses instead of capital expenses, right? So there's a lot of reasons you might do this, but you can rest assured that we have taken security uh, very seriously, data data integrity very seriously, and we manage your system for you. So you'll know before uh, hand whether, when things are going wrong. You won't even have to uh, be monitoring the system. We'll take care of the upgrades. We'll take care of everything that comes with it. So what is the capability that you get, right? Well, we're focused right now in this webinar on efficiency management. This is where we want to start. This is where a lot of customers uh, start generally on premise as well. So we thought this is a great place to have a conversation about what you can do from the cloud in terms of efficiency management. And again, it's all about making you more productive, making you more efficient, making you um, uh, produce less, uh, produce greater throughput and and less waste. Right. So that's what, what efficiency is all about. We dig a little deeper into it. Uh, we really track uh, a, a set of common API uh, KPIs. Excuse me, uh, o OE uptime availability, um, your your quality, your waste, um, and then uh, your production. So we do this automatically uh, through triggers from your from your PLCs and your equipment, and you can do it manually too. So no, no PLC is going to be able to tell you that an operator took a break, right? So maybe that's a manual entry that you put in. The beauty is we combine both of those two and we let you do them both in one place. Then we let you analyze this data, right? Collecting data is great, but if I can't get to it and use it, it's useless to me. Well, this tool lets you get to it and understand and start to realize, you know, right out of the box, we give you the top five worst performing uh, categories, the top five worst performing reasons to under help you understand what's going on with your downtime, your quality and your, your performance. And a lot of uh, standard reports come in the, out of the box as well as um, these dashboards, one, an example of what you're seeing right here. <clears throat> so what's in the Smart Factory as a service offering? What's, what's part of this? Well, first we start with a quick start for OEE. Now this, this quick start program is actually mandatory. 
it's an eight to 10 week program of configuring one line. So um, we consider a line five machines uh, and, and it's offered uh, and priced by GE Digital Services. Then the other part, another big part, obvious part is that we host and manage the service for you. Maybe that's not obvious, but the, the key is you don't have to worry about the hardware. You don't have to worry about the IT personnel. You don't have to worry about any of that. Uh, we take care of that for you. We do the upgrades, which are painful uh, often, um, and we do that for you. We take care of it. We also offer what we're calling the concierge service. Now, what is this? You might think, uh, you know, I've heard of concierge at a hotel, but what does this have to do with, with uh, Smart Factory? Well, what we're going to do is provide for you the first year uh, a person that can help you configure the system, right? This is going to be your single touch point. This is the person that's going to help you be successful and make sure that you're getting the most value out of the, the offering that we're, we're putting on the cloud for you. So it's really a person that you have a direct contact to. You have a, uh, as they say, a belly button to poke, right? When things aren't going right. Uh, we also obviously offer support on the system as well. This concierge can be your person that can really help you configure and add additional equipment, et cetera. Um, and then there's a slight on, there's a small on-premise uh, in, uh, integration component that obviously if you don't have wiring, you need to you need to get that hooked up. We have a lot of partners that we can point you to that will help you with that sort of thing. Uh, G Digital doesn't do that directly, but we do have partners that will happily help you come in and instrument your systems. So um, this quick start. Let's get into this a little bit more in detail. What is it? Um, well, it's an it's an all in one offering. So the idea is that we want to give you the shortest time to value. So the absolute shortest path to get the value out of the system. And the point of this is really to uh, reduce risk. And we provide this at a very attractive price uh, in order to get this done. Uh, again, it's really software, you know, the on, on the cloud hosted software, as well as a services person that comes and helps you uh, get going in the first five pieces of equipment. Now, if you haven't used GE Digital Professional Services, we are a trusted partner to hundreds, thousands of, of customers out there uh, have used GE G Digital Services. And um, because they're GE Digital folks, it's not that our integrators aren't good at this, but we do have better outcomes because we are able to <clears throat> reduce risk and improve your satisfaction because we know this software, right? We have the skills and the knowledge of years and years, hundreds of man years of knowledge in our, our um our professional services team, and it's been proven around the world that we can support this. You see this? You see the statistics here. We have a ninety percent customer satisfaction rate. We just don't fail. <clears throat> now, this this is fully hosted solution, but why? What's the big deal? Well, because production data needs to be highly available and and ready to consume, right? There's uh, needs to be um, you need to ensure accuracy and quality improvements. These are very important things. But why do this in the cloud, right? Well, because you have a single pane of glass. Uh, we reduce total cost of ownership and enhance performance, right? So the idea here is that there is really no CapEx other than the um, quick uh, the quick start OE. The rest of it is all handled by us. We host everything, we manage it, we, um, we take care of it for you. Really no resource cost needed. You don't need an IT person at your site to do this. Um, we, uh, we provide all the software and uh, we, we um, are able to provide experts that know plan apps, that's all they do, right? Um, whereas, you know, when, when a company brings an on-premise, they hire an IT person. And there's a lot of things that IT person does other than plan applications uh, and historian. This would be solely dedicated resource to that. And it's very, very secure. G Digital takes security extremely seriously. Uh, we have many, many processes. Before I or my team can release a product to the market, we go through many, many uh, security um, gate gate checkpoints to make sure that it's secure, that we aren't going to lose any data, that our customers are, are not going to have any breaching data. It's very, very important to us. Again, the single pane of glass, if we talk about um, uh, the ability to see multiple components on a single on a single um, 
screen is really important. So in, in this offering, uh, it runs inside of our tool called Operations Hub. And there are a number of components that run inside of there. And you have one place for that operator or that supervisor to go look at that data. Right? You have your downtime, you have your waste, you have your what we call activities, which allow you to collect some production data. Uh, if you're not collecting it automatically, that is. And of course, we have your dashboards and reports for supervisors to look at. You know, the, the thing about kind of going back to this, this security and, and, um, and um, also the fact that we're hosting it ourselves and we're taking care of it for you, you it really reduces your risk and reduces your um, need for um, folks on premise, right? We'll take care of the updates for you. So there's no there's no like hidden costs in, in using you know an on-prem system where you know you might uh, put in plan applications and and you maybe don't know what it's going to cost you in resources to do to do that up front. With the smart factory, it's all up front. You know exactly what it's going to cost you. Uh, it's nailed down by um, by equipment, uh, the pricing, and uh, you really can in, uh, avoid you know, the downtime and information gaps that can sometimes occur uh, when you have a system that's that's uh, on on the cloud. We'll take care of all that for you. So what what why do this, right? Well, G Digital has been doing this a long, long time. Software really is is uh, in the in in today's day and age, it's super important to have this kind of software uh, and manufacturing operating software on your on your shop floor. Um, we're really, you know, these are benchmarks that we have hit. These are real numbers from real customers. 20% uh, overall equipment effectiveness improvement is, is doable. It's real. And we've seen it done in a number of customers. One, one packaging company that we're um, talking to right now, um, they have achieved a drastic num amount of, of, uh, uh, of improvements in efficiency on just a single line. Uh, and, and even 1% is a huge amount um, per year of savings. And then it comes back to if you can produce your product most efficiently and increase your throughput, obviously that reduces your cost of raw materials and reduces the amount of inventory you have to keep on hand just in case there's a, there's a screw up and you have to replace that product that was, that was built. So a lot of, just a lot of opportunity out there in your in your factories and your shop floors if you already have plant applications you recognize this if you have smaller sites that maybe you don't have it people at smart factory is really a great a great way to go so with that um let's just uh follow finish up and talk just kind of summarize what we've talked about so smart factory is a way to get on to mes really really quickly right it's a proven solution we've been doing this for 20 years we know how uh, we know how this works, and we we can we are the best at it in terms of offering this solution on the cloud. There's really no risk because the, it's a fixed price. You don't have to wonder, gee, I wonder how much this is going to cost in the future. How much is my IT person going to cost? The 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 um, workforce market is just terrible right now. People are um, leaving, and people are demanding higher salaries. You don't have to worry about that. We'll take care of that for you on our side. It really reduces the upfront cost too. There's no hardware outlay, nothing you have to do there. It's fast, right? We guarantee um, we'll be done in 10 weeks, getting you up and running on five pieces of equipment. And it's scalable. Uh, this is built on a, a hev hev heavily um, backed system where it's highly industrialized. We can scale this platform very, very quickly. We have some customers running uh, 500 clients on this same back end that we're, we're offering in the cloud. And it's just getting better. There's much more to come in terms of that. Uh, again, obviously reduce your hardware and software infrastructure. And there's really no need to worry about upgrades, backups, data integrity. All those things are taken care of for you uh, in, in the cost of uh, the system. So with that, I'm going to hand it back to Justin. Hey, thanks, Joe. Thanks. Appreciate you sharing this information today. As a reminder for our audience, please enter your questions by clicking the Q&A icon at the bottom right of your window. And as a reminder, today's session is part of a series of webinars we're running until February of next year, covering our second annual portfolio-wide release. We have lots of great product updates to come, so make sure you register via the, via the URL at the bottom of the slide. And if you miss any, a replay will be available. So with that, let's jump into Q&A.